And then we have question 14. So we are given figure 8.9. We have three 50 gram baits attached to a light rod. Okay, so this one, every, every of the bait is 50 gram. So 50 gram, we have to change it to kg. So it will be 50 times 10 power of negative 3 kg. Why? Because the SI unit for mass is kg. Huh? Remember, huh? so the system is rotated about the Z axis at an angular speed of 65 radian per second. So we are given that omega is 65 radian per second. So first question, we need to calculate the moment of inertia of the system about the axis of rotations. So this system consists of three particles. This system consists of three particles. So how we are going to find the moment of inertia for the particle? If we refer back to our lecture notes, the moment of inertia for particle is mr squared, whereby m is the mass of the particle, r is the distance from the axis of rotation. So if we have a system of particle, then we have to sum up the moment of inertia of each of the particle. So for this question, for this question, where is our axis of rotation? This is our axis of rotation. We rotate about the z axis. So this is the axis of rotation. So I highlight the axis of rotation. So what you can see is for the first particle, let's say this is our first particle. So this first particle is on the axis of rotation. So it do not have any r. The r1 will be 0. Then for this one, second particle, how far is it from the axis of rotation? The value is 4 cm. So this is our r2. And I take this one as my third particle so how far the third particle from the axis of rotation is 3 cm so r3 r for the third particle will be 3 cm okay so then i can calculate the moment of inertia for the system about the axis of rotation so i do the calculation here so the i will be total of mr squared. So we are going to have mass for the first particle multiplied the distance from the axis of rotation squared plus mass of the second particle multiplied the distance from the axis of rotation squared plus mass of the third particle multiplied with the distance from axis of rotation squared. So, first one will become zero because since our r distance from the axis of rotation is zero, so this one I no need to calculate. This one terus lah kosong sebab tak ada distance lah. Tengok partikel pertama ni tak ada distance daripada axis of rotation. Dia duduk dekat axis of rotation. Okay, then kita ada. Mass for the second particle will be 50 minus 3 kg. Berapa jauh second particle daripada axis of rotation? 4 cm. So 4 cm change to meter, we have 0.04 square. Plus mass of the third particle still the same 50 to the power of negative 3 so how far the third particle from the axis of rotation 3 cm 3 cm change to meter 0 0.03 squared so then we press our calculator we will get the moment of inertia 1.25 to the power of negative the unit will be kg meter squared. Okay. Then we move on to the second question. For the second question, we need to calculate the mass to be added at point P to reduce the angular speed to 15 radian per second. 
So, konsep apa kita nak gunakan untuk selesaikan soalan B? So, when mass is added, For sure, our moment of inertia will run up. Okay, run up means increase lah. Huh? Understood lah. Huh? So, when our moment of inertia increase, for sure, our angular speed will decrease. That's why the question asks, if the angular speed reduced to 15 radian per second, so, if our angular speed want to reduce to 15 radian per second, where should I put the mass? Where should I? Where should the mass to be added? It's really not. What is the mass that we should be added at point P? Ah, dekat point P ni, berapa mass kita kena tambah? Okay. Ah, dekat ni ya, sini ya. Ah, dekat point P ni. Kita nak cari. Let's see, saya tambah satu mass kat sini. Okay. Mass tu teacher label sebagai M. So, berapa mass teacher kena tambah dekat point P ni supaya moment inertia kita ubah. So, angular speed kita akan kurang jadi 15 radian per second. So, in, uh, this is initial angular velocity. So, final Final kita nak tukar jadi 15 radian per second. So, kita akan gunakan conservation of angular momentum. Total angular momentum initial mesti sama dengan total angular momentum fine, final. So, initial kita ada 1.25 darab 10 negatif 4. Our angular speed initial adalah 65. Okay. Final. Final. Kita punya speed adalah tukar jadi 15. So, kita nak carilah berapa nilai I kita. So, kita nak perlu dapatkan I final dulu. So, bila teacher buat kiraan, kita akan dapat I final adalah 5.1 sorry 5.1 sorry 5.417 to the power of negative 4 kg meter squared okay so lepas kita dapat i final ni then kita boleh gunakan i final ni Untuk cari mass to be added. Berapa mass kita nak tambah dekat point P? So, okay. So, lepas kita dapat I final, moment initial final untuk sistem ni, macam mana kita nak relate dengan mass yang kita nak tambah dekat point P ni? So, kita understood I final ni adalah I initial di mana very starting kita hanya ada tiga particles ni we only have the three particles and then we plus we we add in we add in another mass at point P so we have m r squared the r will be the distance lah point P from the axis of rotation okay i repeat the R will be the distance from the point P, the point where we added the mass to the axis of rotation. That one will be equal to 5 cm. So, our I moment initial final is 5.417 to the power of negative 4. Initial is... 1.25 to the power of negative 4 plus we uh, the mass that we need to add it at point P then how far is from the axis of rotation 0 0.05 squared so when we do our calculation we will get the mass the, 
the mass that we need to add it at point P will be 0 0.167 kg.